Ivica Gašić iz Republike Srpske je također bila aktivna u jačanju domaćeg turizma i zajedno sa USAID-om radi na novu strategiji turizma. Pozivam vas da podijelite viziju sektora turizma u Republike Srpskoj. Izvolite, ministrice. Thank you very much. I want to greet all the participants in today's forum, distinguished participants, Director Eslik, thank you very much. First of all, allow me to express my satisfaction that we are here together in this joint mission, which is the support to recovery and resilience of tourism in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We are faced with uh, big challenges, and I hope that uh, by joining forces, we will all together get to the goal that we want to achieve. Unfortunately, the epidemiological situation as it is now does not allow us to have this forum as we had expected and as we had, as we are used. In the previous months, almost a year ago, uh, when the uh, pandemic started, we had hoped that by this time we would overcome this situation and all these challenges and that we would be operating in normal uh, circumstances, but the situation is what it is and it in, imposes on us that we have to deal with these challenges. The situation is not uh, what we would want it to be. In spite of all these fears and uh, the situation that we are in, the life has not stopped and that is our guiding thought that has been with us uh, all this time. And throughout this situation, since March, the government of uh, Republika Srpska started a whole range of measures to save the tourism and hospitality in Republika Srpska and Bosnia-Herzegovina, but also the economy as a whole. Just a few remarks, uh, uh, a few important projects have been implemented during this time with the aim to save this industry and provide care to the people working in this uh, industry. Uh, here, I mean uh, the measures that we've paid contributions for the commercial entities and adopted certain measures to help the commercial entities to survive. And I mean here primarily tourism and hospitality. One of the projects we had implemented are the tourism vouchers, and they proved to be an excellent project, an excellent activity and we received some uh, uh, feedback from uh, the companies that it has uh, really helped their survival. So far, we had issued over 28,000 vouchers and 95 commercial entities participating. Uh, to uh, implement these arrangements in Republic of Srpska, and we are proud of this project that had uh, contributed strongly to uh, maintenance and keeping the jobs. Thanks to these measures, we can say that we have around 500 people who have lost their jobs, according to our official records. The period of implementation of this project uh, it has started on uh, June 15th, and as the things are now, they, it will continue until 15th of July uh, 2025. Uh, the purpose was to bring these destinations closer to the citizens based on the natural resources, natural beauties, and how and belief that that can contribute to development of tourism, not characteristic of tourism. In accordance with all the rules and the pandemic that has started in March, the borders were closed and we were all focused on our um, citizens and the available resources and to try to overcome this situation. Uh, we have uh, used uh, these uh, natural beauties to uh bring in the citizens who were not so knowledgeable about everything that bosnia herzegovina and republika srpska have to offer and that showed us the strong potential that had been untapped i can say freely 
And now we realized what are the opportunities uh, Republic of Srpska and Bosnia and Herzegovina can offer and what should we focus on to advance development of the tourism industry and the resources that we have here. Through the USAID projects that we had implemented in the past, and I can say with pride that we had uh, an excellent cooperation in the past uh, through the, for example, the Adinarica project that we uh, brought our natural beauties closer not to not only our citizens, but international tourists. And that project uh, really led to an increase in arrivals. So there was a multiple benefit for all of us together. Based on this, we are now aware what potentials we need to invest in, we need to promote, uh, to give the proper place to our natural beauties. Recently, the government of Republika Srpska made a decision to establish uh, a nature park Orion. We need to develop our protected areas and uh, establish the new uh, areas that will place under special protection. And all of this uh, is a strong potential of Republika Srpska and Bosnia Herzegovina. So in future, we will place our focus on this segment of tourism. Looking at the international tourists and the desires of the international tourists, so we are confident that we have some strong potentials and the good opportunity to attract international tourists. As Minister Japo has said, this will require a lot of work. These are big challenges. And this project that we are currently working on is uh, um, the kind of project that we will need more in future whereby we want to develop our offer and our potentials, infrastructural potentials, first of all, because uh, there are many challenges, many things that we need to improve. As you said yourself, Minister, uh, by ad providing additional training to our tourism workers. So yes, again, a lot of challenges are ahead of us, but we hope we can join forces to arrive at the best solutions, the best projects that will take us to the future in the best possible way and uh, what is a priority for all of us to put under the control this situation with the coronavirus so that in future we go back to the normal life that we are used to the number of arrivals is uh, of course uh, down in both republika srpska and the federation so this year we saw a decrease in collection of the residence tax uh, and all other problems that have affected uh, not only Bosnia-Herzegovina, but the region and the world. The government of Republika Srpska proved to be a stable and reliable partner to the economy, uh, businesses of Bosnia-Herzegovina. So we will try to engage all our forces to implement the best activities and projects to help the recovery of tourism in Bosnia Herzegovina and Republic of Srpska so that our commercial entities will embark the best path towards the future and increase employment in this uh, industry so that in future we would use our, all our natural uh, resources in the best possible way. This project that we are officially la launching today uh, we expect from it to help us. There is the good will and commitment on all sides, and this is our future, and this is where we want to go in future. The joint work of all of us uh, involved in this project uh, will hopefully lead us to achievement of our objectives that will contribute to as fast as possible recovery and improvement of tourism in Bosnia and Herzegovina that will bring the best possible effects in future. I want to thank you all for joining us today and I wish you the best work uh, today, productive work uh, that we will come uh, forward with some proposals that will help us all together achieve the best possible results in the sector of tourism. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, so much Minister.